The following video may contain views and opinions that differ from yours. If you don't like it, tough shit. Now I gotta say, today started off pretty rough, but overall... Nobody I know got killed in South Central LA. I didn't even have to use my AK. I got to say, today was a good day. Because sometimes my videos have an unexpected, unforeseen payoff. Now, I made that video the other day about cringy, creepy fanboys that show up on my videos when I criticize big YouTubers. In particular, I mentioned a guy named Mitch, who is one of Hunter Avalon's chief felchers at the moment. So... This guy made a bunch of lame little videos about me. Really cringy, really embarrassing, got no traction. He's got three subscribers on his channel, for God's sake. So I made that video, and now he's wandering around crying. I don't just mean figuratively, either. The fat bastard made a video where he said he was leaving YouTube after deleting all of his videos, where he'd clearly been crying before he made the video. That made my day. That is hilarious. Mitch has been playing the victim card ever since I made that video, because he's made about three other videos since. Everything's been scrubbed, including that I'm leaving, feel sorry for me video. But yeah. Uploaded a video where he'd clearly been crying like a little bitch, because I'm mean. He said in the video that he doesn't like taking the heat from me, Gage, and Steve. We're all mean. And that he was turning off comments in any future videos like the big, brave, bold shit talker he is. That's hilarious. I made the bastard son of Egg Fu and King Kong Bundy cry. And I barely had to do anything. All I had to do was hold the fat fuck accountable. I get it. He's got something wrong with him. But regardless, it's as the old saying goes, talk shit, get hit. This dude has talked a lot of shit. Simply because I spoke up about Hunter Avalon being a toolbox and told him to shut the fuck up when he showed up in my comment section acting like a douche. It's funny because I'm no mind reader, I'm no psychic, I can't see the past. But I absolutely guarantee you Mitch the Bitch was the kid at school that hit people. People just let him go because he's a little mentally slow. They let him get away with smacking them and then one day he'd do it to a kid who'd keep punching him back. And he'd throw fits because this kid was punching him back and he's not used to that. Hey, nobody hits me. Why are you hitting me? Re, 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 mummy. He's a coward. He is a little pussy. See, he says I got a bullying problem, but the thing is, bro, you came after me. I wouldn't have any clue who the fuck your fat ass was. If you hadn't come onto my video trying to start shit in the first place, you had ample opportunity to piss off after I told you to leave, and instead you chose to keep hanging around being obnoxious. You then decided you wanted to make a bunch of videos going after me where you lied and invented a bunch of bullshit you got called out for by my friends, and again, you couldn't take the heat. So... I made a video wherein I mentioned you with a bunch of other people and again, you couldn't take the heat. You ran your mouth. So I found your videos and told you to shut up and grow up and you threw a little tantrum and rage quit. And you've now got a couple of videos, one aimed at Gage, which is some more stupid cringy crap, which is meant to be edgy, and another one where you're claiming that life's going well. If life's going well, why were you crying your eyes out about 10 hours ago? You're saying that haters are gonna hate. Bro, you look like the type of guy whose life philosophy is haters wanna hate, lovers wanna love, I don't even want none of the above. You know how the rest goes, but you get my point. That looks like Mitch's life philosophy. This dude is a clown. Mitch. Buddy. Boo-boo. As I've said to others, you leave me the fuck alone, son. I'll leave you alone. I wouldn't even have a clue who th the three of you are if you didn't show up on my channel to start with. 
I have not said anything about you up until that video. You weren't even the focal point. All you've done, son, is try and get my attention. And when you've garnered negative attention, not just from me, but from my friends, you can't take the heat. I've said it before, you peasant. You come at the king, you better not miss. And you missed by miles. You're like freaking Michael Rasmussen shooting a puck. You miss by miles. It's pathetic, Mitch. You are a grown man. At least have the laho to stand by what you've said. Leave me alone, you fat, creepy, disgusting fuck. Stop making videos on me, and I'll stop hanging you up to dry in front of all my followers. Comprende, amigo? I've been having a shit day, and you chose to pick a fucking bad day to start static with me. As I said, started badly, got better, but I'm still not in a particularly great mood. So, you basically baited me on a day you probably shouldn't have come at me, Chief. Just saying. You scrubbed your channel, bro. Good on ya. I know about the videos you made about me, dummy. Just go away, Mitch. Run, leave, hit the bricks. Gracefully bow out. You're pathetic, bro. Hunter isn't going to notice you. The only attention you've gotten is from a bunch of people who've chewed you out and made you feel sad. And one intellectually disabled tool by the name of Cranium. Who has no life and is another case of a keyboard warrior talking shit from whatever little house full of disabled kids he's from. You're a loser, Mitch. Go away. Hasta la vista, bitch cakes. Anyway, this rambling has gone on far too long. I feel kind of stink for making a video on a complete nobody. But like I say, not in the best of mood. He picked the wrong day to crank out three videos on me. So, he gets what he deserves. Thank you. Love you, Arthur Flick. Thank you for that quote. I'm Damien Skyfire. Till next time.